Welcome back to the vlog channel girl. I am like trying to adjust to this camera I bought literally like two months ago. I've been using it I've been testing it out and I still have not gotten like the rhythm of it I'm like am I even focused right now? But I was like, you know what? It is time I start posting content again because literally the last time you guys saw Noah He was like probably two months and now he's five months. He literally turned five months today I can't even believe that we're here. It is crazy. I have just been enjoying I think every moment with him I've obviously still been doing the podcast Podcast. I've been doing other things just I feel like I've abandoned the vlog channel I just want to be like present time with the vlogs because I feel like even what you guys were watching everything was a little bit backed up You know like I was adjusting to motherhood and everything you guys were watching you guys were watching it definitely like weeks weeks later So I just want to be present this time. It's September 8th. Noah turned five months. Francito's birthday just passed by too. Today, I want to get Noah his like, I want to do his little five month shoot. I've been doing one every single month. My mom just got home yesterday from Mexico. She got Noah the cutest outfit. Hold on, let me bring it girl. I was actually thinking of putting this on him for his five month shoot. Look how cute is this? Like, are you kidding? This has to fit him. I feel like if anything, he might outgrow it soon. I'm like obsessed and then this little top like I feel like this he for sure won't outgrow so quick because I don't even think this would fit him yet but this outfit I'm like he's been outgrowing his clothes so quick you guys like in the beginning I got rid of all the newborn stuff I didn't even get rid of it I mean I'm just putting it like in a bin it feels like just yesterday I barely caught up I'm just like my heart it's just so crazy i don't think i was prepared for time to go by so quick like i was not prepared at all so he's five months now what is going on with time like literally what is happening girl you can see the little dino in the number two it was a lot crazier in here but we already cleaned up a little bit because i really want to decorate i've been wanting to decorate for fall this time around i really didn't decorate much last year so this time I've been going crazy you guys buying so many different things and I kind of want to do a haul with you guys I did a haul literally a couple days ago, but I've been messing with this camera so much Like I still haven't gotten like the rhythm with it and I just was not a fan of the footage Like I don't know what has been going on. The camera is just a little different. So I'm just Adjusting to it girl, but I bought a bunch of things and I want to start in his living room I want to go crazy this time around. I feel like I'm a lot more positive with like fall and stuff so I'm looking forward to it and I've bought so much stuff girl. I want to show you guys. I have a mess. My house is a disaster Like what is happening here girl a beautiful disaster I'll tell you that the way I've shopped these past weeks is insane girl No, oh, that's my big boy. My baby's so big, I know what. He's like at a really fun stage right now, where he's just like constantly like smiling, just such a happy baby. Like tries to talk to us. <laughs> you guys, so we're actually trying to get rid of this changing table. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think because my sister's living room literally has become also Noah's living room. We have like his play gym. We have just like the changing table and then it even had like a bassinet which would attach to this and he would use literally daily for his naps. We used this so much when he was a newborn. We still use it a lot to change his diaper, but how necessary is this downstairs? You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it feels so cluttered. We actually took the covers off the, the couch because we're gonna go get it dry cleaned. That's why we have the pillows up here. We still have the swing obviously here. For sure we're gonna keep his play gym, he uses that every single day. But we're gonna get the couches dry cleaned, start with a clean living space to start decorating. That's also why I'm trying to figure this out right here. But yeah. You guys, I'm so excited for this package. This is the Laura Mayado collab with Salud. I've been having this for a couple days and I've been wanting to open it and I believe she launches today. So it came with the cup and the little packs. This is iconic. <laughs> Hi, baby. You guys, taking the stuff to the dry cleaners. I had to get Noah out of his outfit because it was so hot out there, you guys. Hi, mi amor. Yeah, I just wanted to cool down a little bit and then I'm going to put the other outfit I was telling you guys about. But my baby was so hot, huh? 
<laughs> yeah, it's so hot. Like, it was literally cold a couple of days ago, and now it's like hot again, girl. You guys, I cannot believe what the heck just happened right now. We came out here to have dinner because, you know, we want to celebrate, you know, Noah turned five months, all that good stuff. And guess what, girl? I literally have my slippers. Like, my full <laughs> slippers. Like, we parked because I told Brian, I'm like, just take a look and tell me how crazy I look. Here's the thing, you guys. They're not bad. I just feel like the vibes are just, just throwing it out. Like, my outfit is super simple today, but I just feel like... I don't know. Oh, he's talking about the food. Thank you. Oh. This is how you do a carne asada at a restaurant. <laughs> Hello, you guys. It is the next day. Today's gonna be much more productive than yesterday. Yesterday, we took the covers to the dry cleaners and they told us they would not be ready till next week. I'm still trying to understand why it's taking like a whole week to do that. I've actually never gotten anything dry clean, so if you guys know about all that, let me know, girl. That's usually how long it takes. But I just got done getting ready. It's actually already 2 p.m., girl. Listen, we are trying to get back to the vlogs and I'm trying, okay, you guys? So I think I made up my mind. I think we are gonna get rid of the changing table just because it's just taking up too much space. I feel like we have so much going on right now. I really need a deep clean, so I'm gonna deep clean while I go ahead and decorate for fall. It's honestly just stressing me out a little bit, just seeing so much chaos everywhere. It's really not like a lot of his stuff. It's just in general, like a lot of things that I have around the home that I'm like, I need to declutter. Like, I think right now I'm just like in this moment where I just kind of want to declutter my entire, entire home. I just wanted to get ready first. This is what I'm trying to do almost daily. I just feel like it helps me. Like, I'm just like a couch potato if I'm not ready like also you guys the house smells amazing we are testing our fall candles so the house smells incredible we cannot wait for you guys to try the fall candles uh, but yeah let's get cleaning girl <laughs> what are you wearing buddy <laughs> Brian put him this little Winnie the Pooh shirt, but with these pants. What the heck are you wearing, buddy? I need to pump in like 15 minutes. I also need to show you guys the pumps I've been using because I feel like once I switch to those, I have not gone back to anything else. They're just so convenient. I love them. You want to clean with mommy? Yes, maybe so. ¿Qué pasó, corazón? ¿Qué pasó? He's looking at Coco. I'm debating if I want to talk, because Noah, I feel like I talked to him both languages, but me and Brian, we put like, kind of like Miss, Ma Miss Rachel, but in Spanish. So we'll watch like different channels. I try to speak to him both languages because my family, obviously, like my parents and stuff, speak to him like pure Spanish. I want his first language to be Spanish, but it's hard because me and Brian around the house talk in English naturally, but we try to talk to him a lot in Spanish too. Hey, que sí, mi amor? Me da que si corazón hermoso. This my baby, this my baby. Hey, yay, 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 yay. You my big baby? You my big baby? Mama's got a clean, buddy. I just realized this right now. I kind of wanted to talk about it because I feel like I haven't really ever like told you guys about this. I don't know if I have. So right now I'm like, you know, getting my tomato can and it expires September 1st, 2025. That's Brian Tito's birthday. But for so long, me and Brian have been getting September 1st cans. Not just because it's like around September because I know some people are going to be like, well, it's September, like we're in the month of September. We get these like literally throughout the whole year. It could be the beginning of the year. It could be in the middle of the year. For some reason, so many of our cans expire September 1st. And I feel like, for me, I take that as a sign because September 1st is his birthday. And for the longest time, like, it could literally be any time of the year, we end up getting a can that has September 1st. It's happened to us multiple times at this point that I just feel like it's not a coincidence. Like, I don't know. just thought I would tell you guys because I'm not even shocked anymore because they always say September 1st. Mommy's cooking, but they can't carry you right now. <laughs> okay.
Okay guys, I wanted to show you everything that I've been like collecting the past couple weeks because I still have this pile here in my living room and we're gonna start decorating today, which I kind of, so I'm like debating if I should do Brian Tito's living room first or work on the kitchen. The whole um, couch situation, I'm just like, okay, so we're not gonna have a complete couch. Like, should I even decorate there? Let me show you guys. I literally don't even know where to start because I just have like things everywhere. I kind of want to start off with just things that I've gotten off Amazon. So, look girl i had got this for like a little vase in the, the kitchen and i didn't know it came with so many look i got this off amazon it came with one two three four five six i feel like with two i would be completely fine because these i think you can literally spread them out nicely i'm gonna try to leave everything like in the description of what i bought like literally low-key i think two spread out would be perfect for a vase i was not expecting for it to come with so many but the great thing is i can spread these around the house like with different bases i got these leaves it came with one two three four five bags and it's just these wreaths not wreaths garlands and they actually look iconic like they come in like little pieces because i feel like a lot of the times you want to be able to customize them like you can move them shape them however you want so I thought it was pretty cool. I believe they're like six feet. No, it is not six feet. Is it a five foot or a six foot? It's not a six foot, huh? No. It's a, I think it's like about five feet. It looks like this. And you can imagine like throw one here, throw one over there. I even got, wait a damn minute. It was six of them, not five. Six pieces, y'all. Amazon really be that girl. I even got this wreath. Like how cute is this, babe? Look, the leaves are wood so cute and i wanted to put this in brian Cito's living room above the fireplace and i have not even fluffed this up i feel like once you open it it would look super super cute i also got this because i was specifically mainly shopping for like his living room when i was on amazon it is this cute garland that says happy fall because i really for his living room i want it to be like really kid vibes and i feel like this gave that i'm gonna put this on the fireplace why is the sun the sun just decided to beam right on me nowhere else actually just on me literally love that for us for his living room i actually really wanted to just go like kind of crazy in there in a good way obviously like do it super cute i didn't really decorate last year i feel like i've mentioned this already a couple times but i didn't really do much last year and i feel like this time around i actually wanted to decorate his place first to kind of break the ice of like starting to decorate for fall again but the whole couch situation really just threw me off a little bit oh my god this sun is insane you guys girl i'm over here moving and everything and then the sun goes down we're good again yay so on amazon i also got these like little pumpkins they came in a whole little collection let me just show you like what they're on actually I'm gonna be real with y'all. I was expecting for these pumpkins to be just a little bigger because I got this wagon at Home Goods and my goal was to like fill this up all cute. But I think it's still gonna work out. I might just put like tissue under this. But like, are you kidding? I would probably, like, if it was up to me, I wouldn't have had the font. But it is what it is, you guys. I haven't seen anything else like this anywhere else. So I didn't really have like an option to get picky. I had got two of these also on Amazon. These are maple leaf string lights. And I originally got these to put them above my window in the kitchen. I have a pretty wide window, so I thought two would do it. It is 8.2 feet. And these look so cute, like, on. I saw the reviews, and I was like, oh my goodness, I need them now. It's not come with batteries. Love that. I actually have not opened these. I forgot to mention, these pumpkins came with little leaves which i thought was so cute because they're just like literally individual leaves that you could just like throw around to decorate all cute but it comes with two but i did get two boxes it's just i have it all oh, here it is if i love them enough i think i am i'm gonna probably get more let's move on to what i've gotten at home goods so i got this cute little jar like are you kidding i'm sorry if i keep looking at the viewfinder i'm literally getting used to this camera i just keep looking over here but isn't it so cute I literally love it. This is going in the kitchen for sure. I'm gonna check on my sopita really quick and I'll be right back, y'all, because I see some fumes. Imagine. No, it's just smoking up a little bit. So I've gone to Home Goods like a couple times. But the other day, like recently, I found this pumpkin with the gold little, what is this, stem? So 
beautiful. It's actually really big. So I just need to put some batteries in there and I can't wait to see how it looks. I kind of want to decorate the entryway today. I'm not going to lie. We'll see where we are with the decorating, but this is going to go in the entryway. I don't know where else I would put this. Like it's huge guys. So when I got the wagon, I also got this because this area, let me show you. So y'all remember this little step area up in my ceiling? I wanted to decorate it last year and I never did. But I've always thought like for the holidays like to put things up there. So I'm going to put the wagon. I'm going to put the pumpkins. I'm going to put this. I don't know how it's going to look. But there has to be like a little village up there. I know what I got on Amazon. I forgot to show you guys. I got a tree. I got a freaking tree. I'm going to have to show you guys later because it's just too much around me right now to even get up. But it's a little tree that lights up and I'm going to put it up there too. But... Also up there in the little village, I'm gonna put this. We got a little family. Literally, this is Brian, this is me. Hey girl. And I got Briancito and Noah too, of course. How cute. And they're gonna be up there with a the wagon, with a tree. I can't wait to see that little step up there, you guys. I'm telling you, I've told myself like since I purchased this home that I would like decorate up there and I never did, especially for Christmas. Like I've always pictured myself putting like a Santa Claus up there with like a sleigh. So this time I was like, no girl, you gotta do it big. So another thing that I got from Home Goods are these set of napkins. It's 12 napkins, but I got six chairs, girl. I feel like you can switch it up though. So it gives you like different options. I want to decorate my dining table like where you, it's just there for decor. So I really want to decorate the dining table with plates, napkins, all that stuff. And I thought this was so cute. I'm definitely an orange girl for fall. I'm not here for like the neutrals. I'm here for like the, the fall, fall vibes. I want to say I also got this pillow at Home Goods. I mainly, I'm going to see where I put it in this couch or Brian the living room. Let's move on to Michael's because Michael's actually has really cute fall stuff so i got this pumpkin it's giving very similar vibes actually no i was gonna say it's giving kind of the vibes like the gold but it's not who's calling me my mom bueno okay let's finish off the rest i think it's michael's so michael's i have seen these big pumpkins and i was like oh my god i can diy them so i got like a small medium and large i'm gonna pile them so i'm gonna cut the 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 top and i'm gonna glue them like this look at first i was like i'm gonna put this in by the fireplace but now i'm thinking i'm like maybe this could be like more outdoor decor and then i'm also thinking of doing like a second tier like this so cute but like i would be cutting this off so it would be piling a lot better i thought that would look so cute together so i'm trying not to talk so loud because noah's literally falling asleep and then oh this is like what i'm trying to do i got also this at michael's so cute i believe this was like 50 percent off michael's actually has a really good sale going on right now like a fall sale i even got this garland too because you could never have enough garland i even got two girl i got a pillow too because you can never have enough pillows either. I'm gonna see if I have enough fall decor. I think I might because I still have the garage, like a bin of fall decor. I just wanted to go crazy with everything because I feel like I have a lot more room now in this home. So I just needed more fall stuff. I mean, me giving an excuse. I just feel like I really wanna go crazy like in each room. I got this little sweater weather little sign. I'll see where I put this. I might even put this like in the kitchen, like on a shelf or something. And last but not least, we got this welcome mat that we're gonna put in the front door, obviously. So cute, I love it. And I think that's it. The soup is ready. I'm gonna make some quesadillas right now with the cheese my mom brought from Mexico. So fucking good. <laughs> Uh, there's a dark pepper in there. Okay. This freaking cheese, girl. Yeah, fire. Woo! Okay, I'll let that cool down mm -hmm. a little second. Is this hot? This mm -hmm. food calls for this weather, but it's hot outside. It's just that <laughs> it's nublado, so I feel like it's like fall season, girl. And with the decorating and all, this is bomb, huh? Mm -hmm. No, uh. You need to go meet me already. You're like, nope, no. Nope. He you literally, you guys, has not taken a nap like the whole day, like a good nap. Like, I just know he's tired. But <laughs> you keep fighting your little nap, yeah, mud. He'll fight him, and then finally, when he's like knocked out, 
like okay like let me get him off my arms and then boom he's up no? yeah yeah he's just taking pure like short naps just pure pure short naps like not even 10 minute naps the longest he did like probably was 20 minutes but he's like struggling to sleep and i just know that he just like wants to go to sleep we used to have a rocking chair down here but i ended up returning it because i just felt like it was like not worth the money it was like really expensive and i ended up returning it because i ended up finding a better one and that one's upstairs but like i literally girl i don't know if it's a little extra but i want to purchase the same one just to have down here because when it comes to like rocking him and stuff that's the only thing i miss from that chair like those moments where i would just be down here and rock him to sleep I could tell he's tired. Good thing you're swaying, young man, mod. You guys, it is 7 p.m. and we just literally got Noah to go to sleep right now. This is like his first real nap of the day. It's 7 p.m., girl. Like 7 p.m., his first nap. That's crazy. Girl, I also, it's 7 p.m., so that means I need to pump, and then we can start decorating. I just finished pumping, but I want to show you my pumps that I have. We're going to see how much I pumped right now. I did have a spill. I don't know if I, like, I don't know if I didn't have it placed on it, but I started leaking, like, down here. This is the Freestyle Medela pump. I love this one, you guys. It only has three pieces. This is how they look. I got, like, three ounces. Uh, my milk supply has definitely decreased um but this is how the pumps look it's only three pieces and is it three or two sorry i can't think it. yeah it's three pieces uh usually after i pump i try to hand like express but i don't think we're gonna make it past like the three ounces for sure one thing i've learned with pumping or you know breastfeeding all of that is the more you stress too it's not going to help your supply so i just learned to not stress about it and just go with the flow like if i'm not making enough it is what it is i'm hoping it's just a little stage because i was sick and we're just gonna go up from here i mean i'm still on schedule i'm not doing anything different but i think i probably need to start like power pumping to be able to get back to like a steady supply where i'm not like feeling like i'm not making much you know what i mean but it is what it is okay girls so i think i want to work in the entryway first just to kind of i don't know set the tone when you enter and then we have this big mirror right here that i want to just like add some garland around it i think it'd be so cute we'll have to see i'm gonna take the garland that kind of came in like separate pieces so i'm gonna probably put like one on each side let's see Okay guys, now I'm gonna add these onto the vase because you guys saw I had so many extra. So let's put a couple. It's gonna need for sure more than this though. It's gonna need like three at least or four. So this is what I did, how cute. I ended up using four of the stems. We still have two more, which is perfect because I didn't need much for the other vase. Look at that girl, it looks so cute. Okay, so now, but Ryan, well, first of all, Noah's up. Hi, Noah. Noah woke up. But here are the two bins. This is my older fall stuff right here. I'm trying to see what I want for the entry. Ooh, a cute little sign would actually be so cute. This is so cute. I have a feeling this is Karina's. I might have accidentally brought that. I love these pumpkins right here. These are so cute. I'm so shocked we haven't broken them. They're beautiful. Let's take this pumpkin right here and cover this out right, first of all. Mm. I should add for sure like a garland here. Or is that too much? I need to find the batteries for this because we bought some Let and we see. can't find them. No, no. There's a lot of pumpkin going on. What do you think, Ben? I like my one. I think it's fine. What do you think? Should I put one of those like little twinkle lights here for now while we figure out this? I think that looks cute for now. And then once they have these little lights on, if it's too much, I'm sure we could just like remove it. Babe, I had more fall stuff. Do you remember the little monitos I had? Yeah. 
What? Kind of like those, but like Tiny. Little. But also remember, a lot of your stuff stayed at Karina's house. True. I actually have this basket. So our olive tree actually usually chills with this thing right here. Like it's like a little, we use it as like a pot, but it's just upstairs. So I'm like, for now, like, let me just figure this out. We're going to stuff this with bags. And this will like be a little bit elevated. And we have this fall blanket. I've never actually really liked this piece from it, so we're just gonna hide that here, and then this could be like sticking out, kind of. I could put pumpkins, babe, in here. Like one sticking out. No, then it wasn't a pumpkin right there that I could throw, babe. What about the little white one? Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Not the pillow being too tall now. So cute. Oh my god, this looks so cute, you guys. I love it. Okay, guys, we're gonna make cinnamon rolls. I think you have to peel this first. Oh, you do? Wait, start here. Bruh. Come on. Oh, it smells it's delicious. Fine. I love to keep an eye on yeah, I can see them from here. Our cinnamon rolls are ready. We put milk and just cinnamon with butter. And we're watching Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus, cinnamon rolls, all decor. Girl, it's happening. Let's try it out. They're pretty little. I was expecting for them to be like huge, but. Delicious. Oh my God, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm -hmm. You know what? Honestly, to me, it seems like a bunch of hocus pocus. No, they're fire. They don't taste like raw. No. It's brown me. Guys, I just took my makeup off right now. I need to get my steps in, girl. So I've gotten 5,000 steps so far. I need 5,000 more. And for me, I've literally just been like dancing. That's what helps me, like intense dancing. I'll do it like right before I go to sleep. Noah is having the hardest time going to sleep too. I've tried to put him to sleep already and he's up with Brian right now. Oh, right you guys, I look crazy. Let's pause this workout. Okay, total time 34 minutes. I did 5,127 steps. So that just means we did our 10,000 steps today. I'm so proud of myself. I'm gonna cool down a little bit, drink some water, and shower, and call it a night, girl.